Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about how our analytics integration works and how to set up analytics integration for something other than Google Analytics. First thing you're going to want to do is go to account, account preferences. Once you're at this page you're going to scroll down to the third section called analytics integration. Now what you're looking at here is the links um, or the link information that are going to be added to the end of every link that you share on Sociomonials. So let me say that again. If you add a link to Sociomonials, we are automatically going to add these parameters to the end of it. Then we're going to shorten it, and then we're going to share that shortened link. So the net result of that is whatever link that you put in our system, if you're sending a social media post, or if you're creating a campaign that has sharing, if you're creating a share button, all of those uh, utilities, you're gonna be putting URLs in and we are behind the scenes going to be adding in these parameters to the end of it. So that's not gonna affect the links that your um, followers click on. It's still gonna to go to the same destination, but these parameters at the end of those links tell your software, like Google Analytics, where the source of that traffic is. And it's going to pass along um, these dynamic parameters based on how we set them up here. If you go to your account now, you'll see that we, you already have this UTM code set up. And UTM, um, it's urchin tracking code and it's only used for Google Analytics. So if you have a different provider, like KISS Metrics or, or some other analytics provider, you're going to want to customize this for whatever parameters your particular analytics provider is looking for. So let's say you're going with one that only allows one parameter and it's called source. All you're going to have to do here, change this to source. Don't worry about the question mark or the um, ampersand or anything like that in, a, in advance of this. Our software figures that out and it'll add that automatically. All you're going to have to do is call the parameter name source equals, and then put your dynamic parameter in. Sociomonials is going to figure out what to insert here based on whatever it is that you're sharing. For example, what I'm going to do is delete this, and let's just figure out what we might want to use. So click on Add Custom Value. There's three different types of dynamic um, parameters that you can add. Source would be the obvious one for this particular instance. And what that is, is where did this traffic come from? Is it from a video contest? Uh, if it's a social post, this would actually say, um, I believe it's published message. If it's a share button, it would say share button. So it's not giving a ton of detail. It's just giving you kind of the gist of where the traffic came from within Sociomonials. Now, if you go down to name, this gets a lot more detailed. This is the actual name of the campaign. So example, cutest baby contest. Instead of calling it something more top level like a video contest, it's going to actually give you the name of the campaign itself. And if you do a published message, it'll give you a little more detail there as well. Now if you get down to the network, this one is pretty specific. It's going to tell you if it's Facebook, email, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, or YouTube. So the network is really important too if you're trying to set up your analytics to know like where your sales are coming from. Of course, all of this is going to be reported within your Sociomonials dashboard, but if you wanted to integrate with your existing analytics, you might as well set this up one time and you're done. Now, every time you're publishing, it's going to automatically um, create these parameters for you. One thing that's very unique about Sociomonials is when you publish to multiple networks, we actually create multiple short links for one post. So if you have one post that goes to Twitter and Facebook, every other social tool is going to create one short link for you. We create two. There's a separate one for Twitter and a separate one for Facebook. And the reason we go to that trouble is because you need to know which network it came from just so you can you know, better evaluate your future efforts. And what happens if somebody posts something to Facebook 
and that gets shared outside of Facebook and you know that gets shared you know once again every click down the line is going to be traced back to that original Facebook post that's something that the other providers just can't do so that's why we have these dynamic um, options here in the parameters so we can dynamically generate those um, shortened links for you in the back end so you just don't have to worry about this stuff it's a big time saver